Dear Mrs. Magoody, I am so sorry that I cannot make it to the parent conference. I have a dog grooming appointment for my dog, Stinky. Wilbur Elementary School principal Beth Howe has read countless books to students over the years, but on this day she was reading her own. That's right, Principal Howe is now a self-published author, and these students are listening to her hardback book entitled Dear Mrs. Magoody that's due to be released in January or February. Her inspiration? Well, my daughter, who is now in high school, um, when she was young, of course, I used to read books to her all the time. And most times, I would be reading the same book over and over again. Hal even featured her daughter's picture in the book and her mother's dog. In fact, the entire book is a family affair, with Hal's dad as the illustrator. My dad actually, for years, every single birthday card, Christmas card, he did a cartoon drawing for me. And so he's not an artist, he's an electrician, but I had to talk him into the fact that he is really an artist. And kids can be artists too. The book includes blank spaces where children can color and even a place where they can sign their name on the front of the book. As for the storyline... Inside this book, you're going to see a parent who is not the norm. Um, she's certainly not based on any of my real parents, but I will say that the things that she is requesting of the school are not quite normal. So, for example, she wants the school to wrap her daughter in bubble wrap as she goes on a field trip because she thinks that the animals are going to actually come and get her daughter um, on a farm. I think it's awesome that Miss Hal is, has a passion in something outside of just our four walls at Wilbur and that she's um, pursuing that passion and publishing this book. And Hal says this book isn't just for kids. It's also for parents who, like her, found themselves reading their child's favorite book over and over again. We're calling this an adult-friendly children's book. And so my goal really is that parents are going to be laughing out loud. Um, kids are going to enjoy it, but my goal is really for the parents to really get a kick out of it so that they're reading something that gives them joy at the same time and not just the same book over and over again because you can find different things in this book every time you read it. Students are always building something in William Penn's construction technology shop, but this is a first, an after-school club for building electric guitars. Teacher Mac Emerson says he was only able to take 17 kids, even though more signed up, and only two of the 17 are from his construction program. Nora Swanson says she couldn't pass up the opportunity, so this shy, soft-spoken 10th grader decided to go to a noisy, dusty shop usually filled with boys. You can say that, oh, I put this together, it was, it was made by me, and then you can show your own creativity about it. I play electric and acoustic, so getting the experience of knowing how to put it together really helps me. Also helping these students is the Colonial School District by picking up half the tab. The cost for students, $81.50. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, you can buy a guitar and it'll look awesome, it'll look beautiful, and it'll, be, it'll sound great, but your guitar is yours. You get to build it yourself. It's your blood and sweat in it. Like, it's not much better than that. Mac Emerson couldn't agree more. He built this guitar a few years ago, always with the hope that he could share the craft with students, but the cost was his big concern until now. The district supports anything that uh, encourages student learning, and uh, that's the great thing about the Colonial School District is it's all about the students. Clearly, there are a lot of creative students, teachers, and administrators in this district, and supporting them in any way happens every day here in Colonial Nation. That's it for this edition of Keeping Up with Colonial. I'm Lauren Wilson, your public information officer for the Colonial School District.